Hello students, how are you? Today we are going to deal with the nervous system and movements. I hope you like it. Something we saw in the previous video was that the nervous system carries out the function of sensitivity. Its three important tasks are it receives and interprets information from the environment, it gives us orders to respond to stimuli, and finally it controls and coordinates all organs and systems in our body. The nervous system is made up of two main parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. It is formed by nervous tissue, as you can see in the picture. Nervous tissue consists of neurons. Here you are one. And there are three main parts, the cell body, the widest part, the dendrites, receive messages, and the axon, transmits messages. The central nervous system is made up of the brain with the cerebrum, controls voluntary actions, stores data and memories, processes thoughts and controls emotions, the cerebellum, controls movement, coordination and balance, and brainstem, controls internal organ activities such as heart rate and breathing, and also the spinal cord. It is protected by the spinal column and it produces involuntary responses. Here you are a picture of the central nervous system with its two parts, brain with the cerebrum, the cerebellum and the brainstem, and finally the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that extend throughout the body. And there are two types of nerves. Sensory nerves receive messages from sense organs and send them to the central nervous system. And motor nerves, they send orders from the central nervous system to the other organs. And finally, we are dealing with movements. There are two types of movements. Voluntary, they are actions we perform consciously. We can find gross motor skills large movements and fine motor skills, more precise movements like writing or picking up a phone, and reflex movements, they are rapid automatic responses to stimuli. The response is produced by the spinal cord. And that was the end of the lesson, students. I hope you understood everything that I explained. But remember, you can always watch the video as many times as you please. Bye-bye, see ya! Created using Powtoon.